Please welcome the lovely Kate Beckinsdale, everybody. Kate Beckinsdale. Did your microphone fall off? It did, it? did. They wanted to hook it onto the back of my knickers, but then when I heard you were commando... The, the back of your knickers? Is that, is that what they said? Well, that's, uh, that's what they meant. Well, what did they, they, they probably said... They don't ever say knickers here, do, do they, they? They don't know knickers is... Uh, <laughs> this is more knickers than... Uh, <laughs> do you know what I thought when I saw these? I wonder how Jared is. Do you know Jared, the... Uh, He's a guy that lost a lot of weight by eating a lot, apparently. I don't know. It's, a, it's an American thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, so anyway, so they wanted to hook them into the back of my knickers, but then when you said you were going commando, I, I thought commander, I would yeah. too. So there was nothing to hook them on, so it fell out. Uh, I just... Well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Yours is firmly wedged. Well, kind of where I would... <laughs> Let's just say it's where I would park my bicycle in an emergency. Nice. All right? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm very excited to meet you. I was always a huge fan, of course, of your work, but of your, fa your late father's work, who was such a fantastic actor. They don't really know uh, of, your, of your father in America, do they, very no, much? No, not at all. I mean, he was like this giant. He was a huge star in, in, in Britain, and uh, he tragically died very young, but yeah. he was in a show uh, called Porridge, right. which I loved setting in a... Fantastic, in a great... prison. Yeah, yeah, and, and so you must have been very young uh, with very famous parents. That must have been uh, Yeah, I was. I mean, you know, it was cool. Like, you know, I, I remember getting to to meet the monkeys one time because he did a real he, he actual a, monkeys or the, no, the uh, actual the, uh, singing monkeys you know oh the, singing the singing monkeys <laughs> <laughs> come on you're, no, you're pulling my leg come on yeah, um, yeah no that you know mickey dolenz and the little tiny one was the one i liked tom cruise <laughs> <laughs> he, he's still working he, he is. we may be coming to your town <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so I, met, I got to meet them, and, uh, yeah, it was good. I, I remember discovering really young, like, what wasn't good about being the child of a famous parents, because I, I used to like that show, Family Fortunes, which I think here is called... Family, family Feud. Feud. Yeah, 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 it's Family Feud, but yeah. Family Fortunes it was in Britain, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I used to sit and watch that and think, God, I'd love to go on that show, and I suddenly realised that nobody's, nobody was famous on that show, so you couldn't go on it if you had famous parents. So I got, that's when I realised oh, it wasn't all like Oh, gosh, it must me. have been hell. It was torn. Yeah. <laughs> Work with me, I bet. Come on! Yeah, no, I, that's just terribly sad. <laughs> <laughs> Who used to host that the Family Feud in Britain? Who was it? Was it Bob uh, Monkhouse? Bob Monkhouse. Did, yeah, with Bob Monkhouse. Who he used to go like this. Oh yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. That. No, he did. He used to go. You don't have to keep doing that. Well, uh, <laughs> actually, I I do for medical oh, reasons. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, and the guy that hosted it here was a guy called uh, Richard Do Richard Dawson, who used to be on Hogan's Heroes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. did he go, as well? He did, he kind did. of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he used to kiss everybody on the show. Yeah. He used to go, welcome to the show, <laughs> darling. Oh, no. That's not very British. I don't think it's Bob not, Monkhouse No, no, he must have picked it up somewhere else, because English people don't kiss. No, Bob yeah. Monkhouse had a lot of makeup. I would have come off on everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do, I, do, I, do you a fan of the quiz shows? Do you watch them here? I don't watch, I don't, I watch any do you watch television. Tele you don't watch television? No, and apart from this show, Oh, Abigail. stop. <laughs> two reasons why I know you're lying. One, no, and two, <laughs> this isn't really television. Come on. It's not television, it's an experience. It is, it's, a whole, it's, a, it's like having a creepy guy in your house. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It's like inviting a creepy foreigner into your bedroom every night. Do you know how many times that's happened to me? Well, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. The restraining order will, you know, I know. Uh, so tell me about the film, the, uh, what's it called again? Snow, Snow Angels. Angels. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's a small independent film and it's, it basically follows three couples in various different stages of, you know, love relationships. Are you, are you a couple with that fella there? He looks terribly young. No, 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 no. I used to be his babysitter. I was going to say, that's, he looks terribly young for... Not that Thanks I would... Thanks a lot. No! Thanks a lot. It's nice. No, I've I meant... The way I, I, meant... I suffer the pants. I suffer yeah, the... Uh, then you tell me I'm old. No, I never said you were old. <laughs> I wore no underwear for you. Look where it got me. <laughs> the night is young. Uh, and if I can dig myself out of this hole, we'll get back to that. <laughs> 
No, I didn't mean that. I just meant he seemed like a child who was prepubescent. That's right. what I meant. You know, like I'd flatten him. Yeah. Basically. No, no, I didn't say that you would flatten him. How would you like LA? Is that nice it's for you? Not, yeah. It's yeah. Do you do you live here now? I do. I do live here. I never really sort of decided to move here, but then I accidentally married one and, and just stayed. How do you accidentally marry someone? I, I've seen that. Like I like I've never done it myself. No, no. Yeah. Everyone's like, I wasn't planning on marrying an American. I mean, it's still a bit hilarious to me that I've married an American. What are, what are the big differences in, in your house then? Does it, I mean, do, do you have you now accepted our strange American ways? Can you? Oh yes, you're one now. I am. Yes, I am an American citizen. What are we doing about the accent? Uh, I'm staying with it. I, I yeah. <laughs> Well, I figured out that I've done everything else. I know, well, you know, I will stay and eat at the all-you-can-eat buffet until yeah. I, you know, pass out. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I, you know, I, I, I do all the other stuff. My teeth are better, you right. know, but, um... But, <laughs> but I'm staying with the accent. It's good to have a whiff of the old country, isn't it? It is nice to have a whiff of the old country. I'm Scottish-American. If, right. if you became an American, you'd be English-American. English-American. Yeah. Well, you kind of are if you marry an American. But you have to fill out all kinds of forms, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I haven't done that. It's not that hard. You can't just get... It's not like, there's like name, put it in, date of birth, put it in. No, but I thought... Are you a communist? No, you're done. <laughs> I thought that... Who's I... best, Al-Qaeda or the USA? Mm, USA. <laughs> you know, that's it. But I thought that you just married one and then you were in, and it's not the case. I think it no. used to be like that, possibly. Yeah, you know, you have to prove you're in love now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. Did you have to do that? No, oh God, oh God bless you. No, no, I. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I did. A, I went solo, as it were. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You didn't have to describe someone else's charmers and things. Oh no, that, that's what they do. Is Just it? yeah, describe the, what their bottom looks like and everything, wow. and to go. All right, we're not really married. You've got me. <laughs> Oh, it's, right. Listen, it's lovely to meet with you. I wish we had a little more time. Will you come back and talk to us at some point? Certainly will. It's very, very lovely to meet you. Keep back to Dale, everybody. We'll be right back.